Hello and welcome to Clinton's Corner. My name is Clinton Jarman. Uh, before I get into things, uh, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe both here on the YouTube channel as well as our online magazine, The Fair Digest. Um, and also guys, don't forget to get those comments in below. I'd love to hear from you guys, see what you'd like me to cover, etc, um, etc. Et uh, so before I get into things, I must just apologize. Um, you know, there were uh, unforeseen circumstances. That's why uh, there wasn't a video up. Uh, yesterday, Monday, um, so I apologize for that, but you know, a day late, but better late than never. Um, so this week, what I've decided to do, since we are in the crux of uh, the, the, the NFL season, that's the American football season, um, you know, in, in the, 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 we are into the, the, the lot, down to the last four teams uh, over the weekend, uh, last eight teams over the weekend, sorry, um, I thought I would give you guys just a little NFL uh, special just to um, give you all the, the, the happenings from the weekend and what I think going forward. Uh, so straight into things then. And uh, the 49ers, they took on uh, the Vikings and the 49ers came out in this one 27 uh, to 10. Uh, Jimmy G and the boys getting it done. But it was more the suffocating defense of the 49ers that got it done on the day. As they sat Kurt Cousins six times on the day, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo also threw for 131 and one touchdown. So not, you know, not a great day for the quarterback, but he did what he what he needed to do. Uh, Tevin Coleman uh, rushed in for two touchdowns and 106 yards as well for the 49ers. Then the Packers they took on uh, the Seahawks, and now, um, like I said last week, this would be a quarterback showdown, and it, and, and it proved to be that. Um, you know, the Packers, they took the Seahawks down 28-23. to um, The Seahawks were down 21-3 at halftime. And, uh, you know, the Packers were clinical in that first half. Um, I think, you know, the game started with um, quite a good run from the Packers. And then uh, also Aaron Rodgers, you know, nailing a, 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 a first down conversion. So, uh, you know, they started well and, and ran up to a, a 21-3 lead. Uh, San, San Francisco. <laughs> uh, the Seahawks ran it back, um, you know, to get it to 28 23 and missed the fourth down conversion in, in the fourth quarter. Which, you know, if they'd gotten that, they, you know, there was a drop, I think there was a drop pass in there somewhere. And if they'd gotten that, you just never know. But, you know, Rogers then, with I think it was just over three minutes left on the clock, or maybe just over two minutes left on the clock had to hit two very important third down conversions, which he did. Um, and that was that pretty much sealed the deal. Uh, a very clutch there on third down conversions from from uh, from Aaron Rodgers. Um, yeah, Devontae Adams had an outstanding game at receiver for the Packers. 160 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, Aaron Rodgers also, he had an okay game, 243 and two touchdowns. Um, but, you know, he was great when he needed to be great, when a play needed to be made, when he needed to make those third down conversions. He, he made those plays and he, he made the plays that mattered, I thought, in the game. Um, I, I, Russell Wilson played well, but I, the Seahawks just ran the ball a bit too much. Um, I, I thought, you know, when you've got an MVP candidate in, in Russell Wilson, give him the ball and, and you know, he, he can create. So, yeah, I think they got it wrong on the day, but, you know, um, they'll be keen to try again next season. Packers, they move on now uh, to the NFC Championship round. Now, the Packers, they will travel to the 49ers. Obviously, the 49ers ended with a better record um, for the NFC Championship game. Now, the 49ers will start, I mean, sorry, the Packers start as a seven-point favorite in this one. Uh, Green Bay lost to the 49ers in the regular season so you know the 49ers have that edge over them um from from the regular season um but yeah anything can happen in, in these these games um so just having a look over the last 10 games um and despite you know opening as seven point favorite for seven to seven seven point underdogs uh the rogers uh and the packers will be buoyed by the fact that in the last 10 games, they're five and five. So it just proves that, you know, um, 
it's not everything uh, the, 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 the regular season. It doesn't really count for much when it comes to this part of the season. Um, I think, yeah, uh, you'll have to see if, if uh, Aaron Rodgers can, can sum up the, the powers of old to beat the 49ers. Um, I, you know, yeah, I would, I, the 49ers will have to come up with another defensive masterclass. You know, the, the Packers have a great defense as well. So um, I think it should be a really interesting game, guys. Then moving on um, and to the wild part of the weekend. So, uh, you know, the Ravens, they were heavy favorites going into the clash against the Titans and the Titans managed to beat the Ravens at 28 to 12. Um, you know, the, the Titans got out to a lead early uh, thanks to, you know, some probably some probably poor play from Lamar Jackson, uh, you know, a couple of passes, a couple of errant passes, not not really overthrown or underthrown or whatever, just not as accurate as we used to seeing him. And, um, you know, despite setting a playoff record with 365 yards passing and 143 yards rushing, he just couldn't get his team going on the day. And uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, they, they, they bowed out early now. The questions will be asked, you know, can he do it in the postseason? Last season, got to the postseason. Of course, he was a rookie uh, and only in his fifth or, or his sixth or seventh game or something. So they didn't really expect much from him. This season, he's the MVP. Undoubtedly, he will be the MVP. And so, no, the questions will be asked. Um, but just looking at the, the, the Titans side, you know, Derrick Henry set an NFL record as he became the only player in NFL history to rush for over for over 180 yards in three consecutive games. That is absolutely unbelievable. The man is unstoppable at the moment and for the last sort of month and a half of the season has been unstoppable. Um, yeah, he is definitely one to watch out for. Um, and then you just look at um, Ryan Tannehill coming up with crucial throws in crucial times. I think there was a throw, um, I think it may have been for the first touchdown uh, or the second touchdown where he threw to sort of the back corner of the end zone and it was the only place that the receiver could get the ball. It's still a difficult catch, great catch by the way, uh, from the receiver. But, you know, Ryan Tannehill just making those plays when it counted. Um, and, you know, Lamar, unfortunately for him, looked a bit rusty after three weeks off. Um, and maybe that wasn't such a good idea from the, from the, the, uh, from the coach of the Ravens, I think it's uh, John Harbour. Yeah, so moving on to the second wild part of this um, AFC uh, divisional round. Um, yeah, the Chiefs, they beat the Texans 51 to 31. Um, now, this was an absolutely wild game, and I did watch uh, sort of most of this game. Um, and the Chiefs found themselves 24 0 down in the first quarter. Um, yeah, it's strange as that team. It was, you know, it was a sort of comedy of errors in the beginning for the Chiefs, um, dropping passes, defensive errors, and you just thought, oh, well, you know, here we go again. Uh, you know, when they, they were at this stage, um, no, sorry, I lied, they were at the championship stage last time when, uh, you know, they took on the Patriots and the Patriots got out to that massive lead. They did make a comeback, but they weren't able to pull out the game this time. Um, yeah, very, very different. They went on one of the most histor historic runs um, in NFL playoff history, scoring seven consecutive drives uh, for 48 straight points. Um, and, and you know the rest, as they say, is history. Um, Pat Mahomes took the team on his back and, and did an absolute job uh, in, in uh, showed show why he's the best quarterback in the league at the moment. Um, yeah. Um, the, the, the Texans did make it hard on themselves though, you know, because they did have a fourth down conversion early in the, in, early in the first quarter, which uh, if they'd got it, might have sealed the game, if they'd got a touchdown there. And they then, on the next play, they took a, a, a kick and then on the next play decided, 
uh, to go for it on a fourth and four, I believe it was, with a trick, uh, with a trick play where they were going to punt, but they chose to run it, um, and then that changed kind of the whole momentum. Then on the next, on the very next kickoff, a fumble from um, a fumble from the Texans, then led to another touchdown from the Chiefs and then it was pretty much all over because then you know you got the momentum you got the home crowd behind you and it just was too much for the Chiefs in the end um, yeah Patrick Mahomes in this one uh, threw for 321 yards and five touchdowns uh, Travis Kelsey had 134 yards and three touchdowns that's receiving yards uh, he was obviously the main man there um, the Chiefs well, and Titans will now meet in the AFC Championship game. Holmes will want to, you know, um, exercise those demons of last of last season when he came up against Brady. Um, well, the historic Brady and 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 that uh, Patriots team. Um, although, although the Chiefs gave up thirty one points, I still think their defense for the large, for the large spot had. Um, sorry, just my my cat making a little noise. There. Um, had had a had a good game, you know, through the rest of of the game. Uh, I thought they hardly stepped, put a put a foot wrong, and you know, if you can keep a guy like the Sean Watson at bay for three quarters, I think you're doing a pretty good job. Um, you know, with De with uh, with Derrick Henry now in the historic in such historic form for the Titans, that defense is going to have to um, is going to have to. Obviously, try and cancel out that run game of Derrick Henry, uh, which the Titans rely on so much. Um, yeah, the Chiefs, uh, they will be confident they have beaten the Titans in the regular season. So uh, it will be, um, oh, sorry, sorry yeah, the, the Titans will have that confidence as they beat the Chiefs, although that was without Patrick Mahomes. So, you know, they did beat him in the regular season, but that was maybe largely because Patrick Mahomes wasn't there. Um, also, Patrick Mahomes probably has all the weapons at his disposal, and yeah, you just can't see any outcome by the Chiefs win. So, straight into my predictions, then um, I will. I am predicting that the Green Bay Packers will get to the Super Bowl. I think Rodgers has it in him to wind back the clock. Uh, you know, thirty-eight year old now, wind back the clock just a little bit and. Be and make those those right plays. You know, you look at uh, Peyton Manning towards the end of his career. Uh, he wasn't a great Peyton Manning, but he made plays when he needed to make plays. And I think that'll be the case here for um, for Aaron Rodgers. I think their defense is slightly is just slightly better um, than the than the 49ers. Although it isn't statistically, I just think in the that uh, in the playoffs they will be a slightly better. Um, yeah, and then you know, for Green Bay, they managed to keep um, Russell Wilson, the MVP candidate, they managed to keep him pretty quiet. So, if they can do that to him, I'm sure they'll have no problems with um, Jimmy G. Then, moving on to the Chiefs and the Titans, um, yeah, this one, this one has the look of a, a Chiefs win, I must admit. I don't think that the Titans can continue their, their um, Cinderella story, as it were. I just think that Mahomes has too many weapons. You've got Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey. Uh, the list goes on, guys. Um, and then, you know, Mahomes has the ability to get out the pocket and, and make those and make plays as well. So I just don't see anything else but, but, a, but a, a, a Chiefs win. However, having said that, for the Titans to stand any chance of a victory, Derrick Henry needs to have another historic night. If he can keep Patrick Mahomes off the field, that is probably your best chance of winning and probably your best defense as well, his offense in this one. As long as Patrick Mahomes is sitting on the side of the field, he cannot hurt you. Um, it's a tough one to call, but I'm going to go Chiefs. So I'm going a Packers Chiefs uh, Super Bowl. Um, and yeah, that's that's my, my humble opinion. Um, so that is pretty much all I have for you this evening, guys. Um, yeah, so if you're gonna watch the games, enjoy it. I'm obviously gonna try and watch all of them. They are on pretty late. This weekend was tough. Uh, very little sleep for me, um, and it will be tough again, but you know, it is what it is. 
Um, yeah, so guys, don't forget to join me on when does the test match start? Thursday, the test match starts for the Wild Pro Tier. Obviously, we'll be doing a breakdown of uh, day one and uh, and all of that action. Uh, thanks for joining me once again, guys. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, also, hit that notification button so you can keep up to date with all the latest from, from the Fair Digest, Clinton's Corner, um, and the Wild Pro Tier. Uh, don't forget to get in the comments below guys if there's anything else you'd like me to cover uh, I'd gladly do that for you. Just let me know in the comments um, and uh, Also, yeah, let me know um, What you guys want to hear from me? Um, cheers guys have a fantastic rest of your week. I'll see you on Thursday it's